Welcome to Nostalgia Hit. In today's video, we look back at the cast of the science fiction TV series, Star Trek The Original Series. We'll revisit the actors who played recurring main characters over the show's three seasons, which ran between 1966 and 1969, and update them as of 2023. Please remember to subscribe to the channel for your daily dose of nostalgia. William Shatner played Captain James T. Kirk. In 1966, Shatner was 35 years old. He was born on March 22, 1931, and is now 92 years of age. Shatner's acting career began over 70 years ago, and alongside appearances in 250 film and television roles, he has appeared on Broadway, recorded numerous albums, written multiple books, and been a director and producer. Some of his best-known appearances are from roles in T.J. Hooker, Miss Congeniality, and the comedy crime drama Boston Legal, where he played Denny Crane in 101 episodes. For this role, he won a Primetime Emmy Award and a Golden Globe. In October 2021, at the age of 90, he became the oldest person to fly into space. Leonard Nimoy played Commander Spock In 1966, Nimoy was 35 years old. He was born on March 26, 1931. He died from complications of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. On February 27, 2015, he was 83 years of age. Nimoy was a stage and screen actor and director who appeared in over 130 TV and film roles, some of which include Mission Impossible, Catlow, and Transformers Dark of the Moon, where he provided the voice of Sentinel Prime. Away from the camera, he was a keen photographer, studying photography at UCLA in the 1970s. As a singer, he recorded five albums, and was also known for his writing skills, where he authored two autobiographies, and had seven poetry collections published. DeForest Kelly played Dr. Leonard Bones McCoy. In 1966, Kelly was 46 years old. He was born on January 20, 1920. He died from stomach cancer on June 11, 1999. He was 79 years of age. Kelly made appearances in over 130 film and television roles, some of which include Variety Girl, Gunfight at the OK Corral, and Gunfight at Comanche Creek. Later in life, he won the Golden Cowboy Boot Award, honoring his earlier work in westerns. Prior to pursuing an acting career, Kelly served for almost three years as a private first class in the United States Army Air Forces during World War II. James Doohan played Montgomery Scotty Scott. In 1966, Doohan was 46 years old. He was born on March 3, 1920. He died from pneumonia and Alzheimer's disease on July 20, 2005. He was 85 years of age. Dewan has over 100 acting credits from television and film appearances, which include Man in the Wilderness, Tarzan in the Super 7, and 150 episodes of the sci-fi TV series Space Command, where he played Sergeant Morgan. Before venturing into acting, he served in the military with the Royal Canadian Artillery and was seriously wounded on D-Day. One of the bullets hit his right middle finger, which resulted in it being amputated. Michelle Nichols played Lieutenant Uhura. In 1966, Nichols was 33 years old. She was born on December 28, 1932. She died from heart failure on July 30, 2022. She was 89 years of age. Before taking up acting, Nichols was a singer and dancer. She went on to appear in almost 70 film and television roles, some of the most notable being Snow Dogs, Heroes, and The Young and the Restless, for which she received a Daytime Emmy Award nomination. As a singer, she released two albums, and during her acting career, she provided the voice of characters on TV shows such as Batman, the animated series, and Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. George Take played Lieutenant Sulu. In 1966, Take was 29 years old. He was born on April 20, 1937, and is now 85 years of age. Take has made appearances in almost 250 television and film roles, some of which include Ice Palace, Walk, Don't Run, and Super Ninjas, where he played grandfather in 38 episodes of the action-adventure TV series. He has also voiced numerous characters in movies such as Milan and Cubo and The Two Strings, and TV shows including The Simpsons and He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. In 1942, following the signing of Executive Order 9066, Take, then aged four, and his family were forced to live in the converted horse stables of Santa Anita Park, before being sent to a war relocation center for internment. 
At the end of World War II, after leaving the internment camp, the family were left without any bank accounts, home, or family business. This left them unable to find any housing, so they lived on Skid Row, Los Angeles for five years. Walter Koenig played Chekhov In 1967, Koenig was 31 years old. He was born on September 14, 1936, and is now 86 years of age. Stage and screen actor Koenig has made appearances in over 75 film and television roles, some of which include Mr. Novak, Moontrap, and the space opera drama Babylon 5, where he played Alfred Bester in 12 episodes. He has written several films and scripts for TV shows, as well as numerous books. In addition to this, he has also taught acting and directing classes at several universities and theater companies. He is also the father-in-law of stand-up comedian Jimmy Pardo. Majel Barrett played nurse Christine Chapel. In 1966, Barrett was 34 years old. She was born on February 23, 1932. She died from leukemia on December 18, 2008. She was 76 years of age. Barrett has 75 acting credits from television and film appearances, which include The Quick and the Dead, Track of Thunder, and Westworld. She also played the role of Luxana Troy in Star Trek The Next Generation and Deep Space Nine and provided the voice of many of the onboard computers. Barrett was married to Star Trek creator Gene Roddenberry and was frequently known as the First Lady of Star Trek. Grace Lee Whitney played Yeoman Janice Rand. In 1966, Whitney was 36 years old. She was born on April 1, 1930. She died from natural causes on May 1, 2015. She was 85 years of age. Whitney appeared in over 70 film and television roles. Some of the best known include Batman, Star Trek The Motion Picture, and The Kid with the 200 IQ. Her showbiz career began on radio as a girl singer, and from there, she moved on to nightclubs, where she opened for acts that included Billie Holiday and Buddy Rich. In the 1960s and 70s, she continued singing with orchestras and as the lead singer with the band Star. Since the original Star Trek television series of the 1960s, the franchise has diversified into numerous films, TV shows, video games, novels, and comic books. As a result, it has generated an estimated $10.6 billion in revenue, making it one of the most well-known and top-grossing media franchises in history. What is your favorite Star Trek TV series or film? And who is your favorite Star Trek actor or character? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching Nostalgia Hit. Please remember to subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, as it really helps the channel. Why not watch another video listed on the screen now? Until next time.